Caterpillar. Welcome to the Voids Only Cast, the only podcast where Curtis says Caterpillar. <laughs> You're the only one, man. You can't get it anywhere else. I was else. waiting for you to say Caterpillar again. Caterpillar. Camder Pillar. Okay. Uh, my name is Devin. <laughs> Calendar as Pillar. Always, <laughs> as always, joined by the interrupter, Curtis. Is it a bad idea or a good idea to have a Caterpillar? shaped joined calendar. by the Wait. interrupter hey. curtis a caterpillar shaped calendar that's called the Callen pillar all right anyways and mikey hello is it and a good idea you flip through the calendar it turns into a moth and then a beautiful <laughs> butterfly <laughs> tell me that's not a great idea it's called the calendar Callen pillar and it's like have a stroke right now just that... have a stroke I, no i i see it i could see like butterfly fans buying it butterfly fans so yeah the pitch yeah. changes to see the transformation every month you get to see you know that sounds like, like a long ass transformation well you know how calendars are unless you get one of those like daily calendars like you know then that's even day. longer of a wait to Man, see. Well, um, the term is called lepidopertis let, let, what fuck I can't even pronounce that excuse that me strange. what are you okay <laughs> are, you, well, are you seizing like this? what are you trying you need, to say do you need medical assistance well he didn't answer so i'm assuming that he does need Lepi- lepidopterous oh okay. <laughs> i assume that means he needs medical assistance no i just sent him the i just sent it that's how you spell it and what does it mean the, like someone who's like into butterflies. So like that's the type of people who buy those calendars. <laughs> okay. Wow. That's right. that's that's very useful information. I'm really happy that you You're let welcome. us know. Okay, walk Next. into your business meeting when they say who's your target audience, say that word. All right. <laughs> so how about you try to pronounce it? When I look just looking right. at the word? Yeah. Lepidopterist. Lep lepidopterist. Yeah. Lepo. Lepi. Lepo. <laughs> Lepi. 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 Lepidopterist. 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 To me, it sounded like Curtis added like 97 more syllables to that. <laughs> kind of did, yeah. But the, did, the yeah. calendar, 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 calendar pillar. It's not a bad idea, man. It's kind of. It's kind of a horrible idea. It's kind of yeah, nice. It really sounds. It sounds like a stupid idea. Wow. Okay. I mean, think about calendars. Like, what what do people by get? The time like, I cat get calendars. Through, by the time I get through the calendar, I could have watched like ninety-seven million butterflies. Why didn't you? Like, because I I I don't like butterflies. Well, that's your so own I'm not problem. Gonna buy this, I'm not gonna buy this calendar. It's not my fault. You don't like butterflies. Do you like butterflies? I'm pretty indifferent to butterflies. Well, then, yeah. So sh- shut your goddamn <laughs> mouth. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I, I have no strong opinion on butterflies. I mean, they're yeah, pretty chill. Why are you protecting the Callan pillar? Because the Callan pillar was a good idea. Yeah, good idea if you're dumb. Okay. All right, then uh, develop the first Callan pillar. To our- what? You guys, you guys are laughing at me, but just you wait until I tell I I'm not the calendar, calendar. I'm just saying, do it, man. <laughs> I believe in you. Thanks, man. I want to see you succeed. I, I don't. It. I want to see you fail. Well, that's just disrespectful. Is it disrespectful or like really nice? Because failure leads to success. So maybe I just want to see you fail so you can eventually succeed. Boom! You're an asshole. Okay, <laughs> I don't I don't know how all of those points you just brought up led to me being an asshole, but mm, sure, buddy. You're put, <laughs> sure, buddy. <laughs> I'll fight you. I'll bare hands. Do you want to fight right now? Yeah, you want to fight right now? No pants. We're gonna fight. We're gonna open this episode of a fight, man. Okay, I gotta ask Mikey the question I asked you, Curtis, earlier. Um, Mikey. Yes. Imagine being Sonic. Oh god. But instead of running fast, you just come really fast. <laughs> it sounds like I'm already new Sonic. <laughs> How is that a thing you would want? Why not? <laughs> now you don't have to worry about spending time wanking it. You're just like done. <laughs> Back to my day. <laughs> Oh no, Dumb. you're at work and you feel like you need to beat up. 
boom, done, back to work. Oh my god. Yeah, I th- I think that sounds pretty right. He's speechless. Yeah. I'm speechless, this man. Like, That's such a good idea that I'm jealous that I didn't come up with it. To be honest, this yeah, idea, you're, yeah, you're, you're, uh, <laughs> you're, you have a stupid butterfly calendar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just going fast. <laughs> man, your idea is so much better than mine. Like, all I had was the calendar pillar, like, yeah. and I thought that was good. And then you come at me with this, like, I, I got nothing on that, and, man. And you have to say the catchphrase every time you do it, too. So it's Correct. like, you know, it's like, you like, gotta go fast, but it's gotta come fast. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. Saying to the Sonic X theme. Oh, God. Yeah. Gotta come fast. <laughs> uh, the Sonic X theme, I listened to it again the other day. I don't know why, but I was like, man, uh-huh. this song is actually annoying. You're saying like, it to me like I really know anything more than gotta go fast. <laughs> well, it's move in at the speed of sound. Fastest hedgehog around it. It's. It's annoying, man. Got ourselves a wow. situation. No time for relaxation without any hesitation. Like, what Yo, great like, lyrics? Mike the situation. I'm just saying those are really great lyrics, man. You get situation like Mike the situation. Oh, get out! Nobody's even thought about that guy in like. Uh, seven, eight I saw years. the show. I saw the show <laughs> last week, so I thought about him a week ago. Really? Well, yeah, because I saw the show and I went, "Oh yeah, that guy." What led you? Just you sound so disappointed. What what led you to oh, watching me? Jersey Shore? <laughs> no, I heard. Um, my mom was watching it. Oh, yeah, and I, it was a good show. I don't it? know, man. I mean, like, if, how I was talking about like MTV Next, maybe given enough time, and I'll be watching Jersey Shore to remember like yeah. the culture of two thousand nine to two thousand ten. Curtis, I can't <laughs> believe you don't know FPC. <laughs> what? This <laughs> pump push up chapstick. Oh God! <laughs> what a time. <laughs> We you know, we God, we lived man. through that time, and do we Rocket even appreciate still living it, in that time? I kind of don't. I'm I I'm good. Do. I don't I don't want to. When was that time? Two thousand nine, two thousand ten. Those like the glory days of Jersey mm. Shore. I thought it was like two thousand twelve. Mm, I wouldn't God, say. I'm fucking it was like old. Jesus Christ! You're yeah, like man, stomping you're, around above me. You're basically a thousand, dude. Two thousand nine. It was six seasons, so it went to uh, 2015. Uh, rest and then in they made the f- peace. Well, no, then they made the follow-up stuff. Yeah. I don't know if someone's at my door. Hello? Oh. I thought well, someone was at my door. It was just a cat walking in the room. Better say hi to them, then. Hi, cat. Say hi to that cat, man. I did. And that's the cat's name. Cat? Cat. Yeah, cat. Man, how boring that would that be? You know, you have a cat, and the cat's name is just Cat. Because that's the only thing she responded to. <laughs> yeah. What if the cat's name was Dog? Do you guys ever think like it's point? Like, <laughs> do you guys dog. ever think it's like I don't know? I mean, is there like a science when people like talk to their dogs? I always think it's kind of silly to talk to a dog like it's a human. Like, how are you doing? In time for some you, food? Do you like? You this stare food? at your dog and tell it to go away. <laughs> <laughs> Only if it's like. Why are you down here? <laughs> like I talk to my dog like a person. I'll be yeah. like, "Hey, yeah. what's up? How's it going, buddy?" Yeah. And like, uh, if it's in my way, or like, and I'm or I'm walking around and carry something, I'll be like, "Excuse me." I just always find it kind of weird. It's not like the dog is gonna be able to like respond to you. That's what uh, you what, think. There, there's a funny story. One time, my uh, my cousin was um, carrying something like his hockey bag. Yeah. And my dog Spice was in the way and um he was like, Move Spice and she didn't move and I said, You gotta be polite to her, you have to say excuse me. And so he said, Excuse me, Spice and she gets up and moves. Oh go figure. Okay. Yeah, wow. so that's she a was polite listening, dog. man. I guess yeah. there is really a science behind it after all. Yeah, except for Curtis. What are you doing down here? <laughs> <God. Get away. laughs> or like when it barks, like shut up Yeah. Abusive animal owner you it's not abusive you're abusive i just don't i don't sit down and go like oh you're such a nice puppy like i don't do that wow wow why i mean you hate dogs so much no it doesn't mean i hate dogs i'm just like (laughs) i don't know sounds like you do have you guys ever thought about what it'd be like to have like a frog as a pet no because i've never had a frog as a pet why would i i don't know i'm just like wouldn't that be kind of interesting what what are frogs like are they mammals they're amphibians 
Oh yeah, that's a thing. Man, I was about <laughs> to call them. I was about to call them reptiles. <laughs> that's the thing. I didn't want to say it was a reptile. I was like, yeah, because it's not a reptile. Well. Yeah. yeah, aren't amphibians just mammals? No, amphibians are like a whole different thing. Yeah, they're just water mammals. <laughs> no, mammals are like they're like um I don't know like furs. They have like produce milk. So they have, like, tits and nipples. You tell me frogs don't produce milk? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Oh, fuck, that s- guy who sold me frog milk was lying. Frog <laughs> milk. Don't <laughs> even, Yo, you want some don't even say that. The idea of frog milk is just so disgusting. Hey, dude, you want some frog milk? <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like some, like, <laughs> like future vegan shit to have some frog milk. I, got I mean, frog it's milk still. On tap. I mean, I know obviously it's not vegan, but that sounds like or some hipster like, like um, some kind of like IPA drinker would want that in their beer, like, you know, like ten percent alcohol, hoppy with frog milk. You got a you got frog milk on tap? No, sorry, only on <laughs> bottle tonight. <laughs> on bottle, yeah. <laughs> God, I mean, I don't. No, I just don't, I don't want to think about frog milk. To, we're coming up with so many good ideas in this episode though, when you think about it, Callan. Callan Pillar and Frog Callen Milk. Callan Pillar's a bad... Yeah, what about fucking Gotta Come Fast? Gotta Come Fast is not a good <laughs> idea. <laughs> Fuck you. Callan what, Pillar. What do you, do you... You call it like the convenient cum? <laughs> no, it's Is that how you would market it? It's, the quick no, it's nut? Sonic, Sonic the cum hog. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Now I've had enough of this. <laughs> now I've had enough of this. Oh. That was one of those unfiltered, and as soon as it left my mouth, I was like, God, that was fucking stupid. That, that, <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, like, instant regret. Like, oh, shit. Imagine, okay, imagine a drawing of it. It's just, like, a no. sperm, but with, like, no! some, like, little hair bits on the back of it. Why? I don't want to imagine and, that. And it gives them the thumb, it's giving the thumbs up. I don't want to imagine that. God damn it. I hope you're imag- I hope you have dreams about that, like I will tonight. Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, I've been remembering my dreams pretty vividly recently, so I'll let you know if I have that dream. Right. I'll let you know. Is if it a I dream or a reality? <laughs> Shit, man. I guess the line's really blurred, you know? How do we know when we're dreaming and when we're undreaming? Undreaming? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dude, I had the craziest undream last night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what you could call it. We should say that last week we tried to record an episode, um, and it um, went horribly. Yeah, we all went to Mikey's backyard, had a nice time, chilling out, and um, well, already the sign of disaster showed when my mic unplugged, but I didn't realize it for like fifteen minutes, and then I realized my recording stopped. And um, we we were gonna be able to work around it, but then it turned out what I found out because I have the same microphone. I have like the same microphone that Mikey has microphone at home, Mikey has. Uh, so I was testing with it. It turned out his microphone wasn't fully plugged in oh. the entire the entire time, so yeah. it, it left a lot of fuzziness. So was, we tried, but we finally missed an episode. It has to happen to a podcast. Eventually, you miss an episode, but hey, here we are talking to you about frog milk. <laughs> so okay, this episode will have no problems except for when I have to go through Mikey's audio. And all I, all I hear is us in the background. Well, at least you'll, you'll be able to know where you are. So that means it's we'll talk. We can talk about this since we talked about it last time, but it didn't pick up. What's so, up, you fucking gluttons? Yeah. So um, the other um, two weeks ago or a week ago, we came across this beautiful man. Okay. Well, no, I, I need to preface this. Weeks before that, we saw this beautiful man, but Curtis wasn't there. I didn't see him. So Curtis got introduced to um, King Ass Ripper. King Ass Ripper or Harry and Greasy. So uh, they like his farting videos, and those are fine. Um, I don't approve of any of his content. That's fair. <laughs> that's a fair point. Um, but basically, his he content. his famous video and his really great video is called Mayonnaise Man. And he sits in his truck. He has some chili cheese bites, three corn dogs, two fully loaded burgers, and a chocolate cake. But the plot twist is... He dips everything in mayonnaise. So <laughs> you see the guy dipping his corn dogs in mayonnaise and sucking all the mayonnaise off and then dipping it again. And he, he pours the entire jar of mayonnaise onto the chocolate cake. And the whole time, 
He's just this gross, hairy guy with, like, his gut sticking hey. out and everything. He's a beautiful man. This beautiful, hairy man. But the one we wa- we watched two um, this Friday, and the one he ate an entire eight-pound rotisserie chicken. And and he made sure to remind everyone, the every, like, couple minutes. Eight pounds. Our, I'm eating it like nothing. Pound. The thing about uh, his videos that's so funny is the way he talks. Like, he had the one where he had... 26 pancakes covered right, in mayonnaise. You, you don't do him justice. You, you okay. ruined him. Oh, wow. Thanks. He's got his... What's up, you fucking gluttons? <laughs> got 26 uh, fucking pancakes. Gonna smother him in syrup and mayonnaise. Yeah, and he had uh, 20 Twinkies. Uh, he was making, like, these, like, Twinkie sandwiches with, like, mayonnaise in between them and drinking uh, some Miller Lite or some Budweiser. <laughs> It's just quite a spectacle. These are the, the kind of videos that, like, I don't know, like some of them almost make me barf. Like when he has mayonnaise coming out of his mouth and stuff. Like that's that's hard to watch, but it's just funny. I I want to continue living. Just when you watch his videos, videos, yeah, they are very me, inspiring. Yeah, it shows me what uh, what the male body could really be like, and what I really would uh, <laughs> aspire to be. Yeah, hopefully yeah. one day you'll be the next. Uh, King ass ripper. Oh god, it just makes me think like maybe we can all get to the point where we eat a plate full of twenty Twinkies dipped in mayonnaise. Like, are we, like, no, how far you. away? You know, the point like in the Killing Joke, the Joker, like his whole thing was like we're all one bad day away from turning into like the Joker or whatever. So how many bad days are we away from turning into King Ass Ripper and recording us dumping mayonnaise or- on a chocolate cake? It's not how many bad days away are we. It's how many good days of mayonnaise are we away. <laughs> good mayo days. <laughs> well, I had a good mayo day yesterday. I might has, become King Ass Ripper. He has a video that we're going to have to watch. Um, he's in Walmart, and he's eating chicken wings and stuff like he does normally, but in public as he's pushing around a cart. And he's getting like all the mayonnaise and stuff all over his shirt while he's walking around in Walmart. so we'll have to watch that one um it's just it really it's a spectacle man and that led us to cooking with k who i mean she's pretty well known but she's like i had no idea who she was she's like i think she's i think she's scottish i think or english i don't know she's somewhere in the european area of somewhere in the british isles england Somewhere in that um, England area. She's basically she's she's really nice. She's really charming. Like she's she's very pleasant Ooh, person. You think she's charming? Telling yeah, I mean she that. she's a very pleasant like grandma type, I'm except sure. for the fact that she cooks like an absolute nightmare. Like she's never cooked before. Hey, <laughs> so don't say she that. She has about like her. she has like where she makes these meatballs, but she doesn't even do anything with like the meat, and then she just coats it in her, egg, and like they just look. Her son disgusting. says the cooking is good, so it must be good. Must be good. But yeah. it's like she tries to make professional recipes without actually knowing how to do anything, and um, it, it, she watches like those, um, like uh, quick two like minute tasty, like tasty <laughs> is that brand that does all the cooking videos. She watches okay. one video, doesn't read anything about what she needs, and just goes, "I can do that." Yeah, pretty much exactly what it is, mm-hmm. and there's just something about her videos that are so amusing. Like all, like her oven and everything is so dirty, especially like. She makes, like, this turkey, and she's like, oh, why does no one come for Christmas dinner? <laughs> but then you see, like, how the turkey oh. looks, like, the entire meal, and you feel kind of bad. You're like, oh, but then you look, and you're like, yeah. <laughs> so it's, I, part of me feels like she she knows. Yeah, like, I definitely feel like, like she's just, like, again, they get, like, takeout or, like, instant stuff all the time. Yeah, no, well, no, it's, she probably cooks really good, but then probably, like, just, like... I just feel like people who make those types of videos for so long, they're in on it. Like, well, eventually, just, I'm not even saying eventually. I mean, I'm feeling she has like, merchandise. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm fairly certain nobody goes that long into something like that, believing what they're, they're still doing. they're still good at that point. I mean, there's some yeah. pretty delusional people, but she doesn't really seem that delusional to me. You know, no. she she doesn't have any sense of ego. Her, and she's always like, she makes this like fucked up looking food, and she's like, oh, I guess I messed it up. It's never yeah. like, oh yeah, this is perfect. She, she's always like, super nervous about what her son's gonna say. She's yeah, the like, best. It's bad, isn't it? The best part is when you just see her. Um, 
just looking at her um her son while he's eating the food like she's like oh god i hope this is good you know it's really honest so there's something honest about her videos and it's i don't know it's interesting <laughs> definitely it's, it's yeah it's something else something else and um to continue my series of weird videos i've been watching while i do stuff um, I found this from February 2002. It's like this news special called A Day in the Life of George Bush. And it's 52 <laughs> minutes long. George Bush? I know. It's 52 minutes long and it hey, has watch the, it right now. It has the original commercial breaks. It's recorded from a VHS and it has that hum that I used to hear on my grandparents' TV um, when it was like before the show started. It would just go to black and there'd be like that hum. It has yeah, that very because that's, that's sound. the sound of the TV slowly radiating poison <laughs> at you. <laughs> yeah, I know. But, yeah, this special, it's like a puff piece, you know. It's nothing hard-hitting. It's just kind of like, here he is. And, like, they set everything up. Like, here's George Bush working out in the gym, you know. And, oh, you don't um, think George Bush went to the gym? No, I mean, you know, he, he kept in shape. He, was jog he jogged and stuff. And what I'm um, gonna say is those videos of Obama and Biden jogging around the White House were fake. They're they were faked, good. yeah. Green screen, they were just in deep place. Fake. <laughs> it, deep fake. They were uh, they were stunt doubles. Stunt doubles. <laughs> but no, the um, the thing that's funny is you're just watching this, and there's the interview part, and you know there's that famous thing where George Bush like choked on a pretzel, like a soft pretzel. I have no idea like, about this. Yeah, he choked on a soft pretzel and he like fainted. And um, okay. he had, like, a scar on his face. And it was, like, a thing that the media reported on. Like, huh, he's so dumb, he couldn't even eat a pretzel. So the interviewer asked him about it, and George Bush was like, I even fired up a pretzel the other day. I don't know why, <laughs> but I found something so amusing about the idea of firing up a pretzel. Yeah, because he maybe, fired up a pretzel. Maybe it's just me, but the idea of referring to it as I even fired up a pretzel. And then the guy's just, like, he, he asked him, like, so is there any connection between the Taliban and Iraq? Like, he just instantly goes into, like, a hard-hitting question after asking him about a fucking pretzel. <laughs> oh, my God. And there was this, um, I love it. There was Texas area commercials. So there was one for, like, ranch dressing. <laughs> and I was like, this is so perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> like, dressing up for the ranch or actual ranch? No, like, ranch dressing. Like, straight-up ranch dressing. And I was, was like, this joke. couldn't this couldn't be more stereotypical. There was a pretty disgusting ad trying to suggest that the Chrysler van is better than the great Dodge Caravan, but we all know the Dodge Caravan is the Whoa. greatest and most powerful vehicle yeah. of all time. Where's the Chrysler van now? Exactly. Who's driving a Wait. Chrysler van? No one. I also realized I'm pretty sure Chrysler is owned by Dodge, or Dodge is owned by Chrysler, so what's the oh, fucking really? point? Yeah, it was funny because they showed like they showed the back of a Dodge Caravan and they're like, "Look at this shitty van, and you want this they, van kind of thing." They were literally just saying, "Don't buy our like cheaper brand van. Buy our <laughs> fucking expensive brand." <laughs> That's kind of some weird marketing for sure. God, the Dodge Caravan is really one of the most iconic vehicles of all time for me, just because it's like just classic and people still drive the old kind as well. And I mean, because well, they're re they're reliable. Yeah, like my grandma Somehow. used to have one, and anytime I'd be in the back seat, I almost felt like barfing because you get like a little slit of a window to open in the back. You know how you don't get to open all the way, but you get to kind of like push it out a bit. Well, yeah, because oh, you mean like the very back? Yeah, the very back seat. Yeah, because there's no nowhere for that window to go. Like oh no, exactly. <laughs> And, um, yeah, just all the ice cream stains and gross stuff. I, I always got a headache whenever I was in that van. And it, it's a powerful vehicle. You can't mess around with the Dodge Caravan, man. Like, yeah, it's totally a powerful vehicle. <laughs> yeah. It will fuck everything up. But that's just, like, my, my random mundane thing that I found amusing to watch. Like, it's something, like, I don't know. It, it's just there's something about watching this stuff that, to me, it, it's just amusing. It's something to put on, you know, and that's as always you found for. just as always you found something random to watch during the week. I've just found one thing and watched it all week. That's what all are you I've watching done. this week? Naruto. Oh, yeah. You said Naruto. Yeah. What episode are you I'm, on now? Uh, I'm on episode, I think, 22 of season two. Okay. I never watched have Naruto. Start, have so you started running know. like him yet? Always. Mm. Man, the only thing that like. I was saying this on Friday, so Curtis has already heard this. They try to make his catchphrase stick, 
and they put yeah. it in so goddamn much. Yeah, yeah man. You know. I mean, a lot of anime does that. They they really yeah. want to have their phrases and stuff. I know believe it is, and it's not even like an amazing catchphrase. <laughs> It's just believe it, like, and, and it's not like it, it's not like it's a one emotion thing. It's he's sad, believe it. He's angry, believe it. He's oh, happy, he believe he it. says it all the time. Really, he's always saying it. <laughs> that it, to be fair, I don't unless I've just haven't been paying that much attention in season two. He hasn't been saying it that much, but that's also because they've been showing other people fighting. To be oh, fair, okay. he was knocked out for a few episodes. Oh. <laughs> But they did a flashback, and there was like, oh, oh fuck, it. flashbacks. Like, fuck That's what I hate well, most about animes when they go into flashbacks. They were doing a flashback to kind of show the this one girl how she feels about him and everything. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's a, yeah. It's a good show, though. Yeah. Flashback episodes are always just kind of like, they just halt the plot, and you're just like, I, fuck, man. Uh, I didn't want to, like... It, it depends I, on how it, it's oh. done. Yeah. They just always bother me. Like they give more insight, but to me, I just like when a story is just doing its thing, and then you just throw just throw it off like that for a bit. It's like, ugh. I, would you rather have an entire episode dedicated to flashbacks, or would you rather have like a flashback is kind of like a B no. plot of an episode? See, see if the entire episode's a flashback, that's where you go on type in filler episodes and you just skip oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know actually. Maybe like an entire flash because if it was like a B plot that would kind of be distracting to go back and forth. Because they did that in mm-hmm. the Gundam Wing movie, Endless Waltz. They would show these flashback scenes, but not like they wouldn't clearly show this is a flashback. So you'd just be like, what the fuck? Yeah. So <laughs> I it was kind of weird. Who was that? Yeah. yeah. I thought that guy was dead. There were a lot of scenes in Endless Waltz where I was like, what's going on? Oh, okay. Um Who that? There's one thing they do at the start of every episode. They have like their little recap, and it's like a yeah. minute or two. That's Thank classic. God Netflix just skips. Oh yeah, They're like I it, hate it. Has all the shown in shows do that? Yeah. yeah, they they haven't known that. As soon as the episode ends, I get like twenty seconds, or not even twenty seconds, like maybe like ten seconds into the credits. Goes Naruto to the next has some episode, good songs in immediately. It. Some good it's, songs in Naruto, like Yura Yura. Yura. I don't know. When the that music appears itself, in the show, but I like it. The music itself is just good, like soundtrack. Yeah, mm-hmm. like just even like the fighting scenes and everything. It's it's got good, like just everything. Yeah, like again, I never. I, I don't want to like Naruto, hop on that but... show because I I know everyone goes. Eh, it's Naruto. Everyone watches it. Kind of like how well, man. If you the enjoy only it, animes I've watched like Dragon Ball. I've only watched like Dragon Ball and Naruto. I mean, yeah, it's like one of the popular things, but like yeah. again, if you enjoy it, it's fine. There's After plenty I'm of done... series I've watched, like Fairy Tale, that aren't exactly high class shows, yeah. but I I love them. I love Fairy Tale. It's a fun show. I, De- I have definitely my next like a show low grade. Up, but what's <laughs> next for you? Uh, well, I'm gonna watch Naruto Shippuden after. Yeah. Um, but then I remembered a show that I watched growing up, uh, Inuasha. Oh, Inuasha. I want to watch yeah. that show again. Well, Inuasha is a lot better standing than naruto like that's still like a respected show yeah but it's not like it's not like you say anime and like people who aren't like super like weeby they don't go hey do you watch inuasha it's like inuasha is like yeah and and like people who are a little older than us really like that show but it's not a show that people talk about as much nowadays yeah it was definitely not a show i should have watched at the age i was (laughs) yeah because it's it's like brutalizing like (laughs) Yeah, no, it is it is one of those series that, like, yeah, people a little older than us will remember more yeah. so, but I I never watched that show either, but, you know, obviously I, I know what I watched it is parts of it, so I remember mm-hmm. it and I liked it. Yeah, that show in, like, Yu Yu Hakusho are the ones that aired over here that people still Yu Yu um, like a lot, and the series, like, Gundam Wing our shows that seem to have like a really bad more of a bad reputation nowadays than they used to but what's uh what's the other one that people like gundam Um, seed no not gundam oh um um that used to growing up it was Um, they're fucking like schoolgirls. sailor moon sailor moon that's yeah everyone at least watched that either (laughs) i watched some of it Um, people really liked that Mm -hmm. people really liked hamtaro (laughs) Hamtaro, yeah. That show is just kind of funny. Obviously, I, Dragon I Ball Z was the it. big... Dragon Ball Z yeah. is the anime that, like, every... 
everyone who's really into anime can really owe it all to Dragon Ball Z for like the Western world for getting and yeah. Pokemon and Pokemon Wait, as well. Hamtaro was uh, Hamtaro was an anime. Yeah, I mean, technically, yeah. <laughs> oh shit! It, it was it was <laughs> a learning. Japanese cartoon, and I mean but, technically everything that's animated is an anime. Yeah, pretty much Dragon Ball Z and Pokemon we can thank for popularizing anime over here. Not, not I'm... Beyblade, Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Those shows happen because of Pokemon. <laughs> you know? Like, over here. They know, got man. popular uh, because of that. Bakugan. Nah, geez, <laughs> Bakugan. Bakugan. <laughs> that show was ass. And it was funny. Like, now I'm watching South Park, so I got to the Chin Pokemon episode. Chin Pokemon. Oh, the one where they get the Pokemon try to get the kids to do Pearl Harbor again. <laughs> I l- and I like that it starts out, like, what is it? It's... Chin Pokemon, and then uh, who is it? Is it Kyle gets a Chin Pokemon? And he like, get, no, and then the everyone gets the cool game. Now. Yeah, and then he, <laughs> and gets, he gets the, the game, game, and everyone's talking about the camp. Yeah, and oh, the end of season three of South Park is where shit gets extremely good. Like the New Year's episode where Cartman talks about his ass period was is one of the greatest episodes of the entire. Oh, show. Oh, when they all think they had their period because they yeah, and their Cartman ass. talks about <laughs> unlocking their goddess powers. <laughs> <laughs> and Stan oh gets God. so upset. Nobody will tell Stan that guys don't get their periods, so he starts being like, "Why the fuck are not I getting oh, it too?" <laughs> doesn't he ask? Um, <laughs> yes, God. Doesn't he ask God. Yeah, God comes God down. Like, God comes down, and he'll answer one question for the millennium, New Year, two thousand. And Stan is uh, asking why he hasn't got his period. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next episode is the one where four million kids go to play the recorder, and Mister Garrison gets upset that his dad didn't molest him when he was a kid. <laughs> Oh and yeah, he's like, he gets... he's like, is it because you didn't love me? <laughs> and it's like, oh my that, god, <laughs> that episode is just a fucking ride. It it's makes no fucked. sense. <laughs> and then Cartman discovers the brown note on the recorder, so he gets everyone to play it, and the whole world shits oh, yeah. him. There's basically three different plots going on in that episode, and they're all hilarious. They're all just yeah. fucking crazy. Because oh. in early South Park, there's kind of a problem where the B plot isn't as good as the main plot. So there, there were a lot of episodes where it was just it would cut back to something else, and it it would just be like, okay, I don't really care. The, the one episode that was really good is the uh, it's like, and it's it's more of the B plot, and it is the school photos one. I where don't know if I've like, ever seen that. It's it's pretty early on. It's um, I think it's season three. Uh, it's the one where Kenny wears his clothes backwards, so his ass is. <laughs> Oh, His maybe I seen season four. I just finished season three, so I haven't seen that oh. episode yet. It's like they're like, "Oh, I hope nobody fucked up the pictures." And Butters took like this really nice picture, and they're like, "Butters, you piece of shit! Why did you take this fucking horrible photo?" He gets grounded for like oh. years. Yeah. <laughs> Every time he looks at his parents, they're like, "Why are you looking at me with that smug face? You piece of shit!" And then there's the the great episode where Kyle's dad and Stan's dad get in the hot tub. And jerk off oh, in front jerk. of each other, yeah. And they get all awkward about it for the rest of the party. <laughs> and then everyone's like, "What? I mean, everyone's done that, man. It's nothing." <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh god! Fuck. And no, oh, the amazing episode where, where they reenact the Civil War, and but Cartman doesn't want to lose. Oh yeah, they all get drunk and <laughs> yeah. He so he keeps all the adults drunk to like <laughs> try to win the Civil War, man, <laughs> and they go all the way to like the White been. House. Those episodes would have never happened. No, absolutely not. Like only in that time could because it's so funny. Because Cartman doesn't actually care about anything to do with the Confederacy. He just, no, he just wants, wants to, to win. win. He just wants to win the argument with him and Stan and Kyle. Sounds <laughs> it's... pretty relevant to today. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's just so again, the end of season three is when the show really seems to start kicking it and really getting into more of its. Mm-hmm groove what, for sure is there like a streaming site that has it's it? on crave yeah it's on crave. okay that's kind of like mm-hmm. canada with canada for hbo eh? yeah. yeah it has hbo and some other things as well letter kenny letter kenny it has some things i need to watch more shows on amazon prime i have it but like, yeah i haven't, like watched anything Amazon yeah, Prime watched, is kind of uh, like a lackluster, um, fuck, uh, fuck. What did I catalog? God, I forgot the word. At what, least for what's me. The, what's the two name? Two first name mo- guy? Uh, Jack Ryan. Oh. They have um that know. um. John Wick 
too. Oh, like, is it? Like uh, the second one and third. Yeah, too bad I don't have Prime. <laughs> Prime is a lot of like um weird anime on it that like nobody else obviously wanted to pick up so they were just kind of like yeah i guess yeah. we'll get that yeah we have anime yeah but they just have like so a lot of like they have some weird like they had some exclusives I, so they, yeah, they sometimes they get anime. new shows and they have stuff like macross on there and stuff but it's it's the fact that they they tried really shooting into like amazon originals right away and they tried to, to have uh I don't know if they still have it, but when they started, they tried to have their own anime dedicated streaming service. I don't remember what it was called. I think it was called yeah. like, um, Strike or something like that. I don't remember what the name was. I feel I like they, get... they tried going deep into it right away. Yeah, but you really can't compete with Crunchyroll. Well, I mean, like this is also Prime Canada, too. Yeah, Prime Canada really sucks ass. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Maybe I, I, really sh I really should get a VPN just so I can see. What else I, convenient I wanted to get Hulu, but even with VPN, oh. you can't get Hulu because it realizes no. that I have a Canadian credit card. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. So I'll have to see Hulu. if I can get because I've apparently I've heard Hulu has now topped Netflix with like older series and all that right. shit. I don't think Malcolm in the Middle is on Netflix anymore. Uh, it's probably on Netflix somewhere. I'm not sure. Sure. That's one I'm... Just, uh, if the borders ever open up, just uh, go get a prepaid visa down there. Oh, that's the scheme. All right. Yeah. And it's like, oh, that's an American website. credit card. Got to figure it out. I can't remember the website I normally use. There's a website where it's like, it'll give you every single region and you can pick through it and it'll show you if you can like stream it on something. Oh, yeah, it's a website. Oh, is it this one? Is it justwatch.com? Yeah. Uh, and what is wow. this called? <laughs> There's no streaming option. It's what? nowhere now? Oh, shit. Okay, what do you I know? I think that's set to... I don't remember how I change it. If I... I feel like that's wrong, though, because they normally have, like, a... You can also buy it here, kind of thing. Oh, so maybe this one's not updated. I'm not sure. Have you watched oh, nice. anything this week, Mikey? Take that as a no. Hello. Wait, what was that? Sorry. <laughs> Have you watched anything <laughs> this week? Me? Um, no. I've just been kind of like I've re I'm rewatching Drive to Survive on Netflix. That F1 show. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. We don't really care about F one then. You're just in the in the F one times playing the game, yeah. watching stuff. Oh yeah, man, it's good shit. I was watching the um F one race this morning, but I fell asleep because I woke up too early. No. I ended up laying down in bed, and then that was a big mistake. It was so comfy. Yeah. I but can't uh, get I out. saw I saw ha Lewis, Lewis Hamilton, uh, Valerie Bottas, and um. Max for staff in the top three when I went to bed, and that's who won. So, there we go. Good times. Good times. F1 talk. <laughs> it's, it's a fun sport if you like fast cars. And you cool. recently have, um, do you still, are you still feeling that love for fast cars that you felt like last week you were going on about how newly obsessed you were with fast cars? Yeah. I think my next car is gonna be a fast car. I'm, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about paying off my car, and then selling it to my buddy for like a cheap price, and then like going out and like buying, like something a little older but fast. All right. Can yeah. we just slap a turbo in yours? Hell yeah, bro. Mm, I want. I kind of. I'd want to get an older Subaru and slap a turbo in it. Honestly. Turbo boost, Night Rider. There's nothing really like aftermarket available for like my generation Subaru. So you make your own. <laughs> Fabricate it, yeah. Well, well, with the, how your car is, you just yours, you just swap the uh, the body parts for the front and put the. Uh, you just have to get like the turbo from the regular WRX. True, but I also mean like aftermarket stuff too, like bumpers. And yeah, you just go for the WRX ones. It's still like the same baseline. Yeah, I could. 
but like I'm also thinking like maybe a Volkswagen Golf Turbo. I don't know. The possibilities are it, endless. If you want to get a Volkswagen, though, are you ready to put in too much work into it? <laughs> as long as I could go fast. The thing, the thing with German cars, it's like you have to be ready to either work on it yourself or pay a lot of money and labor to get other people to work on it. Straight up, yeah. It's a vicious cycle. Yeah, that's so the only thing with German cars. Kijiji, actually. What I'm gathering from this is that Mikey, given the choice to go fast or come fast, you would choose go fast. What? Go fast or come well, fast? Well, if he's driving fast, that's not running fast. Oh, okay. okay. I'll be honest, like, I don't really care about, like, too much about top speed. I more care about accelerating fast, like, getting, like, getting up to the speed limit really fast and handling if I could take corners fast. Perfect. Okay, there you go. That's that's what I'm about. Fair enough. And that's kind of why, like, that's kind of why I'm thinking older Subaru, because, like, Is the boxer it? engines are low to the ground and good handle. I was also going to say, isn't your car already, like, fast corners? Yeah, but I could, it could always go faster. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, you're correct. Well, if, uh, there's an 08 Audi A4 S-Line 2.T Quattro. As a car guy, I still didn't understand what the fuck you just said. Because I hate that car companies put, like, 9 million different fucking parts to their trim. Yeah, really. It's a 5.8, 68, 5.50, 75 Deluxe Q5, 8 turbo fuel injected. Are you being a robot right now? Gasket heads. Gasket no, heads? No, I'm talking like Megan Fox in the one scene where she works on Bumblebee. She's like a carburetor line here. Got the, the Hemis. And <laughs> what kind of car is Bumblebee? Uh, and he first he's like a, yeah, the, it's just some seventies Camaro. I don't remember what the year is. And then he's the two thousand seven Camaro. Does, does she actually say in Hemi movie? in that movie? No, she says something about like okay. about his car. She says something about his carburetor. But no, she's, I was she's, just to say like if they if that's like that's just such a stupid fucking hole if they said that. I, well, it, it would not Hemi's relate. Different. It wouldn't relate to a Chevy at all. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not. That's not it at all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you had me thinking for a second. I was like, "Is this something that actually happened?" No, it wasn't. Is this that... turning into a Tokyo Drift drifting a fucking Mustang? Like a man. Budget? I actually I had Tokyo Drift on my movies to watch list just because this um, I've never seen a Fast and Furious movie, but something about the idea of Tokyo Drift seems so two thousands to me that I just want to see it and witness the. Tokyo how 2000s Drift, it is tokyo drift in a lot of people's minds is the worst fast and the furious but i i really loved it up until the point where he literally throws a fucking import cars engine in a fucking oh Mustang god here we go and drifts it around corners well i mean tokyo drift like even just saying the word tokyo drift like that's part of like the lexicon that's the thing that people say like oh tokyo drift you know the, when when you say tokyo drift the only thing people think of is ding yeah, the song. Oh god. <laughs> and then like you're driving fast, yeah. It's fun. It makes <laughs> so, you go faster. That's five horsepower with the plate. Oh okay. I do want to watch yeah. the movie just because it looks so shitty that it will be fun. Like that kind of like so shit. Watch fun. all of them. I don't know I about thought, that. I thought oh, yeah. you were like kind of into cars. Or like is that just older cars? No, older cars, like, but I mean I don't, like I don't I don't I don't hate cars. I, I like I like a good racing game, and I'd be down for a good car chase, race kind of movie, whatever. I'd watch that shit. But I, I just haven't all of really watched any. Oh, God, I don't know. When we got marathon watch, watch all Watch the them? first four. What are they on <laughs> now, number 12 or some shit? Uh, Until nine. Paul Walker dies. Rest oh, they're on nine. No, okay. even then. Like, five was kind of eh. Six was seven. Eh. It because it originally like it was about like the cars and shit, and then all of a sudden it was like fucking Fast and Furious World Police. Yeah, they turned oh. into like a fun heist movie kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, then well, they turned into the good guys, and then anytime you just go to the movie, I see the trailers for the movie. It just got it seemed like they just got more and more ridiculous until they were like on ice or some shit, and I was like, what the fuck? 
I heard nine was coming out or is out, and I didn't even know eight happened. Oh. <laughs> okay. I I could care less that they kept making those movies after Paul Walker died. Hmm. It was like haven't. his brothers are like, yeah, we'll just help act, and then you guys can CG the rest of like him in the other parts of the movies. Wait, what? Did they actually do that? Yeah, That's they got they his did for... brother to stand in. Oh, what the for fuck? most of seven, Gross. most of well, at least most of seven, because he they were already filming seven. Oh, so they had to like have the, his character in the rest of the movie, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and they just kind of like see his brothers already look really close to him, so they just kind of oh, like CG okay. his face to it. Well, that makes sense, I guess. Like, what else would they do? Like, kill his character off screen or something? Yeah, like how would they like write him off if he's like a big but, part of the But then franchise? I'm pretty sure he's in like eight or nine. Well, that's the it's like that weird shit they had to do in. Rise of Skywalker with um, Carrie Fisher, where they had to use like deleted scenes from the last movie and Man, and stuff. They should have mm-hmm. just like killed her, you know, like when uh, the cockpit explodes and she dies. Yeah. If so you mean when she drags the... herself back in? That <laughs> yeah, was. She's apparently, she's a force user. That yeah, that oh. was the scene when I watched Last Jedi. You know, you go into the movie, you're like, okay, that's the scene where I was like, fuck this movie, fuck this franchise. It was that specific scene, and from there, everything just got worse. <laughs> you know. <laughs> like it's the it's the part that just broke everything for me so it's so ridiculous yeah that movie was something I'll, like, else I'll expect some like I'll forgive ridiculous things but something like that I just couldn't it was just oh god I so saw... I better make an hour and a half long video essay with a very nice clickbait <laughs> title to get millions of views yes you better do it then and have totally original opinions that not everybody else has been saying for the last how many years. I, I saw a clip from that movie that Adam Driver and Daniel Radcliffe are in together. Um, I don't know what it was called. I didn't even fucking watch it. But it's just the thing where he sits down. He's like, I just had sex and I'm about to eat nachos. And that's all oh, I can what? think of. You've never seen that scene? Okay. <laughs> Apparently I haven't. Oh my god. I don't know uh what the fuck movie is this from? It's from the F word. Oh okay. from twenty thirteen. <laughs> I've never heard of it before now. Oh my god. Well oh sorry, it's called What If, apparently. I don't fucking know. Okay. Uh let's turn up the volume of it. This is all I can think of when I think of Kylo Ren now. Can I talk to you about something? I just had sex. I'm about to eat nachos. It's the oh, greatest God. moment of my life. <laughs> Unless you screw it up with whatever it is you're about to say. And that's oh, just, okay. all, all I can think of is that's, that was pretty. That was pretty. That's good. Uh, Kylo. Ren. You know, you know uh, Ben Swolo. Ben. Swolo. Oh, geez, when he gets really it. big. Yeah. Just that, scene. Isn't that like the shirtless part? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's disturbing. It's- I just everything about Adam Driver, nothing makes me think of like evil and intimidating. Any... Yeah, I just think he's a fucking funny guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to be mean, but his face is kind of funny looking. So yeah, he's a he's a funny guy. Well, and while they were doing um, Star Wars, he was in a movie where <laughs> he joins the KKK, pretending to be a black guy who joined the KKK. Oh, that movie. Yeah, that's yeah. right. So they're like, how did he get that role while he's like partnered with Disney being mm-hmm. Kylo Ren? Maybe, <laughs> Maybe just yeah. more leniency. Yeah, like that. Well, I mean, that has to be because I don't think. I didn't think Disney would allow that. True. Well, there you go. Can't it's wait better, for Star Wars than, Episode 10. Better than being in Birth of a Nation. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that that was just stupid. Curtis, you ready for? You ready for because Star like Wars every because like Mickey everybody Mouse who's in that out? movie is like dead because the movie's from like nineteen something or whatever. I think, or is it from the eighteen hundred? Nineteen twelve. It's like one of the first movies ever made or something. Sorry, that was a stupid joke. It wasn't even funny. Charlie Chaplin movies. What? You don't know who Charlie Chaplin is? Obviously, I know who Charlie Chaplin is, but I wouldn't actually watch his stuff. Wow. Wow, why? You don't like his, his artwork? <laughs> I'm You're not a fan of his art. style, Kurt? <laughs> Disrespecting his style. Sorry, I'm getting, Charlie. I'm getting Charlie Chaplin up on the phone right now. Oh, shit. 
and he won't be sorry. able to talk to you because sorry, he I'm does. Not, he sorry, I'm not like an. In, sorry, I'm not in his movies. Sorry, I'm not an indie film girl who's gonna dress up as Charlie Chaplin for Halloween. Yeah, then people are gonna mistake him for Hitler. <laughs> no, that's why you gotta have like the whatever hat or something. And yeah, someone will probably with how fucking stupid people are. They're just gonna. Oh, think I know. It's trying to be like a funny Hitler or something. Funny Hitler. <laughs> like, a, a funny haha. Funny haha ha, Hitler. <laughs> <A> funny. <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. You never know, man. Wow, I can't believe you're talking about Hitler, Curtis, on this Christian podcast. Uh, but Hitler is Christian. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's you're one wrong. of the only times that I've ever checkmated you. <laughs> <laughs> Checkmate, bro. I'll savor this moment because it never happens. Because I just I'll end up saying stupid shit. I just end up saying dumb shit. Hey, at least you admit it. Fucking dumbass. Well, yeah, I'm not gonna pretend. That I'm not. <laughs> I don't. I'm not gonna pretend that I don't say stupid things. Like, that'd be that'd be dumb. Just remember though, if you ever are in court because you killed someone, just tell them that you were ape braining, and they'll let you off. Okay, we need to have this discussion. So I was like, you know, if you can plead insanity, I'm like, why can't you plead ape brain or like primal brain? You know, you can just be like, sorry, man, my ape brain went off and, and <laughs> I, it just accidentally happened. I didn't mean to kill this guy. My ape brain went off. I was just, you know what it's like when you primal brain, man. This man said Gundam is is stupid and my ape brain went off and I killed him. <laughs> He's dead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this guy didn't like the same TV show as me. So I went ape brain and I oh, killed yeah. him. No, he man, like, he insulted he insulted G Gundam, and I just couldn't stand for that. Yeah, and they're like, "Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Didn't realize you were going ape brain." <laughs> yeah, no, it's okay. Were, just thought you were a maniac. Just try to get that ape brain under control, yeah. man, and just don't do it again. Uh, three weeks ape brain therapy. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck would ape brain therapy be? <laughs> they just put you in like a uh, chimpanzee exhibit at a zoo. <laughs> they're just like yeah. figure it out. <laughs> figure it out you sit here until you've learned a lesson yeah exactly sounds pretty good to me <laughs> a brain therapy <laughs> oh, God. tell me you wouldn't do three weeks of eight brain therapy man i would i mean let's not let's let's not lie here you would ape your brain i would ape the fuck out of my brain curtis would think if he can f- think he can finally figure out what straight chimpin is oh if get out brain. You you say straight chimping to me, then I try to be like, oh, I was straight chimping, and you're like, because you got the, I can't you, say that. I spill banana pepper juice on myself. <laughs> Haha, straight <laughs> chimping, bro. Well, I thought straight chimping was like doing something crazy. Like what? You, you're like, oh no, shit, it's just straight chimping, bro. You you say this like you have a clear definition, which you do not. Because I do. Yeah, I do. You don't. Okay, uh, you got me there. Yeah. I can't you explain it to you because then you would try and be a part of the straight chimpin gang. Oh shit! You wouldn't want that to happen, man. That'd be yeah. terrible. Don't want you part of fucking chimp gang. <laughs> you sound like an idiot. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Uh, disrespectful, bro. Yeah. Oh, this shit. is why you're orangutan gang. Orangutan gang? Are you insulting orangutans? Yeah. Look at you, you orangutan looking ass. You fucking smooth brain. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't know what orangutans ever did to you. Shit, man. I'm they sorry. touched me inappropriately. I'm sorry, man. You should really have a platform to talk about your experiences, and I'm sorry if I belittled you. Yeah. Wow. wow. Yeah, I want a public apology from you. Everybody, I would like to. Or, or wait, how do you start no, an apology? I, you gotta like. It, you it gotta have like on, you. It has to be on I, Twitter. Yeah, you thread. gotta have no. Oh, okay. Yeah, like a twit longer or whatever the fuck people use no it's just gotta be because now they let you uh write like a bunch of tweets in a row and just post oh them no once. that's even worse man fuck that's what i want i want a seven multi-tweet apology. a seven a seven tweet thread oh shit. your apology yeah the, what do i gotta say like this is really hard for me i've been going through a tough yeah. time you always gotta, you gotta say something us. like i've been going through a hard time and i didn't mean it because i'm under a lot of stress you gotta say something stupid like that right a lot of stress under a lot of stress, and I, I killed those thirteen it. people because I was eight braining under a lot of stress. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Cause that's just about how stupid of those apologies sound. It's like, it's fun. Yeah, and then all the I, YouTube. I don't accept your apology. All the Doesn't YouTube apologies legitimate. where they where they turn the camera on. 
Sit Exceed. down. Curtis, obviously the best YouTuber apology is from uh, Soda Poppin. <laughs> is that the one you showed me that was really yeah. funny? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that me, was really funny. Me and my friend were going to see some anime titties. <laughs> yeah, that was that was pretty funny. <laughs> anime tatas. One of what was it? One of the local uh fuck one of the local heathens came up to me. Oh god. And started touching on me and I said politely, fuck off. <laughs> Very polite. That video. that video is so good. No, it was pretty funny, yeah. How good is it? So good. Have you had to rate it on goodness? Uh ten out of ten. 10 out of 10. Man, that's a high rating. You gotta, you gotta hold back on your 10 out of 10s. You can't use them all in one place. It's because I just want to play video games with Soda Poppin. Oh, okay. He's a funny Sorry, dude. You gonna? No, he'll never play video games with me. He hates you just gotta donate. people. He said it himself. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> no, sorry, man. I'm sorry, Yeah, man. what? I gotta donate $5 to him so, so he can go, Divin. 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 Yeah, that's exactly what you gotta do. Thank okay. You, Devin, for the five dollars. <laughs> Get out. Thank you, Curtis, for five dollars to my okay. ASMR channel. Thank you. Curtis. Okay, whatever. Very funny. <laughs> Curtis donates money to an ASMR streamer because he likes. I haven't done name. that in a very long time. I'm not shitting on anyone who does that. I'm just shitting on Curtis for doing it. That's it. It was two dollars, and I got her to say Roy Fizzlebottom, and she couldn't pronounce Fizzlebottom. It was hilarious. <laughs> anyone who donates to ASMR streamers to hear them say things, good on you. Good on Keep doing it. It was Peepomo, and it was funny. Curtis, if you do it, shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, my God. Get out. It was just two dollars just because I thought it would be novel. I thought it would be amusing to hear. Do you guys remember the thing that uh, our friend Adam sent in the Discord of the AI? Oh, I sent that. Fuck. What? I, I sent the wrong link. Sorry, oh. I'm, not, I'm talking to myself. Um, he uh, yeah. sent a thing of a Twitch streamer that's apparently an AI of a, like a anime girl. It oh, sits no. there and reads the chat and talks to it and everything. Is it like Kizuna or something? Or I don't know. Is that her name? It is made. AI. Thousands brown of hair? Dollars. Is she, is she no. brown hair? Oh. I don't know. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it was okay. like like pink or purple. It was like colorful oh. hair. Oh, okay. I don't know. Either way, it was weird to watch. Like just I watched like the vods of it. It was weird. Yeah. But like that's the future, man. Teach their watch own. out. People can enjoy what they want, I guess. That's that's the future, man. Careful. Alright, I think we are uh wrapping up making a little bit of a shorter one today yeah it's fine wow i didn't ask for your pr you know what no we're going another three hours <laughs> oh yeah okay thanks man so uh that's it for the, the boys only cast i'm again Devin. we have kurt curtis shit i gotta uh, block that hey that's uh, cut uh, we, uh, have uh, that we have curtis we have curtis Better cut that I out. Will. Why do you always get so mad? Better cut that out. Like, no shit, I will. Anyways, uh, and Mikey. And hello. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. What if we just were in a time loop and this is the beginning? Yeah. So that's goodbye. Hello, welcome to the Boys Only Cast and the podcast where we have a 23-year-old who got a spinal fusion. Wow, that's true. Wow. You know what? And that's what we're <laughs> ending on. <laughs> Bye. Bye.